Uh, this is the uh, this is now chapter 10 uh, decision support and expert uh, systems now here we will be talking about um, the phases in decision making articulate the difference between structured and unstructured decision making describe the typical software components that decision support systems and expert systems have. Give examples of how decision support systems and expert systems are used for various domains. Describe the typical elements and uses of geographical, geographic information systems and list and list um, benefits and automated decision making so so we have um, we have uh, decision support these are these are programs that that, that help um, that will help us make decisions um, an organization's success depends on the decision support the, the decisions made that by the employees so whatever decisions are made by the employees that is how the uh, organization uh, will succeed now there are uh, computer-based systems are beneficial for large amount of information and intensive processing types of decision support aids we have the dss and we have the expert system so we will be talking about uh, this, these two kinds of uh, support aids for uh, making decisions. <clears throat> so decision support systems and expert systems. Applications today may combine both or provide a simple, some, some applications are a combination of both of these. Some of them are uh, just one of them. Okay, so this is the one. Now let's uh, continue. Uh, decision support modules today may be part of a larger enterprise applications, and also we have the we already talked about this uh, last uh, one of the it is the data warehouse and online processing systems. So, what is a decision? A decision must be made whenever more than one possible action is available. So, how are we going to solve the problem? Okay. It can be difficult to make decisions when many reasonable alternatives are present. In business, there are many dozens, hundreds, or even millions of different courses of action available to achieve the same result. This is very important here again. So, many, many hundreds or even millions of different courses of actions to achieve the result. So decision making can have three processes: intelligent space, collect facts, beliefs, and ideas. The design phase design the method of considering what will you do with the collected data to reduce alternatives to a manageable number, and then select an alternative from the remaining choices. So one, two, three. So here is a uh, a, bit, a, uh, a graphical uh, show. So intelligence, collect data, collect data inside, outside, and collect information on possible ways to solve the problem. And then second, design, organize the data, select a model to process the data, and produce reasonable potential action. Now choice, select a choice for action. Select select one choice of what you will do. Now you made a decision. So uh, business collect data internally and externally, like what we what I showed you. A model is an abstraction of reality, such as a tabletop representation of buildings, maps. Mathematical equations representing relationship among the 
variables or formula. Manage this either choose universal models or design your own models. Now we have uh, two kinds of problem. We have problem that are uh, structured one which has an optimal solution can be reached through a single set of steps. Now algorithm are the steps to complete the task. Parameters, what, uh, what do you mean by parameters? Categories of data that are considered in the algorithm. Most mathematical and physical problems are structured, but many business problems are not. Okay. Unstructured problem one in which there is no algorithm, there's not yet there's no algorithm yet that was discovered or put together <clears throat> that leads to an optimal solution. May not be enough information, may be large enough to con for potential factors. Unstructured is closely related to uncertainty. Examples of unstructured problems is uh, weather prediction and stock market prediction. These are, these are examples of unstructured problems. Now we also have the semi-structured problems. One is neither fully structured nor totally unstructured. Professionals encounter semi-structured problems almost daily in different industries. The goal is to choose one alternative that will bring the best outcome. So these are uh, a show here of uh, the difference between structured and semi-structured uh, problems. So now we have the problem. Now how do we? What what computer what computer program or application are we going to use to? help us collect this data and do the okay so we have the uh, most dss consists of three components data management model management module and the dialogue module okay so here's the way this is a uh, a graphical representation of it Okay, uh, data management module is this is what it's all this is what it's all about. Okay, turns data into useful information. That, that's what it turns data into useful information. It's like one plus one equals. Now, patterns or models may be unique in a certain industry, such as ATM placement, truck route planning, airline ticket pricing, car rental pricing. These are, uh, these are already, uh, the algorithms were already put together by somebody else. Okay, more on uh, model management modules. Okay. <clears throat> Here are some examples. Okay. Now the dialog module, the part of DSS that allows users to interact with the program. Okay, an example is that, uh, um, like uh, you, you you can talk back to the program if you have any questions. Okay, here is an example of that. Okay, I will not anymore read this to you because uh, you can just look at it yourself. Now sensitivity analysis conducted to test the degree of the total profit, total profit grows and shrinks. Okay, how, how much money? Um, now, you know, business exists because of profit. Okay, now you have a what if analysis. If you spend on this, what's going to happen? If you spend on that, what's going to happen? If you spend less, what's going to happen? Okay. So the system support systems in action. Now here's an example of it, you know. Um, uh, uh, like uh, TurboTax is an example of, uh, of a decision support system. Yield management is another example. Okay. 
Now, so th that's, a, that's a DSS. Now we have the expert system. The expert system has already knowledge in it. Okay, this uh, a specific area of knowledge. It's just like uh, the doctor in the, in the clinic. He will just put some information in the computer and the computer already knows maybe how to solve that problem. That was done by other, you know, uh, doctors that was put into the system. And here is a graphical interface of that. It's also the same as the DSS, but it's uh, the only thing, the only difference is that this has more. It already has uh, information and knowledge about what to do. So, uh, examples of these are artificial intelligence, okay, knowledge base, and inference engines. Okay, here's a uh, here's again an example of that. Okay. So neural uh, network mimic the way a human brain learns. Okay, uh, intelligent agent, it detects certain events and then it prescribes uh, an action that uh, you have to do. Okay, you know, like uh, hospitals, they have a lot of this. Uh, there were already uh, doctors who solved the problem once upon a time. And then they just want to see if uh, it will work with this uh, new patient. Okay. So this is more about expert system in action. An example, like I like I told you about uh, doctors, the way they do it. Okay. Implement uh, credit valuation. If uh, if you have bad credit, they they might not they might not approve you for uh, another loan okay so it's uh, implemented in many industries okay. and then you have group decision support system this is a new one right now that um, a group will input the, the information they have and then the computer is going to help them make a decision We'll, uh, we'll show them alternatives and what they can do. Okay. Now we have the uh, geographic, uh, the GIS. Okay, uh, like when you're driving, it tells you like what is the best route to go to, to the place where you're going. Okay. Sometimes it's better to follow it, just to follow it because they know where the, uh, the system already uh, collected information about the tropics. Okay. So summary, we have uh, DSS and the expert. Now this is about uh, making decisions through the help of the uh, computer.